Hey, super. Uh, <clears throat> hey, super. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> hey, super. Ugh. Ugh. This isn't going to work today. Hold on a second. Hey, superstars. It's your best friend, Mrs. Reindeer. And Scott's got a little post-con funk after the national last week. His voice doesn't work, but the show must go on. Maybe he was talking too much? <laughs> ha. Anyway, he asked me to fill in for him. Today he's drawing everybody's favorite underrated Hall of Famer, Stan the Man Musical, for Joe at Four Soft Corners. If you remember last week, Scott drew another piece for Joe, Ken Griffey Jr. Joe wanted these two pieces to work together, not only because they are two of Joe's favorite players, but because they're both born in Donora, Pennsylvania, and they were both born on November 19th. That's kind of crazy. Griffey's nickname is The Kid, and Musual's nickname is The Man, so Joe wanted to incorporate those nicknames as well. <laughs> Such a cool idea. Scott says I have to talk about Stan Musial a little bit. I guess he was really, really good. He had a career batting average of 331 and had 475 career home runs. He played a mean harmonica, so he was a musical musual. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, I didn't write that joke. And he was highly regarded as a really, really nice guy. Kind of like Joe, I hear. According to this article I read, he would bring signed baseballs to his mother every time he played in Pittsburgh. That's sweet, I guess. But why would his mother want all those baseballs? It's time for the sales pitch, as is the case with every Marker Doodle Monday Doodle. Scott made a limited amount of custom cards with his art, and if you bought the Ken Griffey Jr. last week, this would go very well with that one. You can buy these at the Etsy store, and the link for that is in the description below. And while you're there, buy a t-shirt or another custom card or whatever tickles your fancy. Scott needs to write a better commercial script. He spent all last week with his card buddies at the National. I'm pretty sure he went over budget there. I met Mangini, and I'm not buying that $3 card business. Now he's having me do his voiceover? I think I deserve a little date night, right? But the only way he can do that is if you guys buy stuff, so help a girl out. There's the man. <laughs> Looks pretty slick. Scott says, Joe is pretty excited and giving these pieces to him in person was really, really cool. So here's some footage of that. Here we're going. Uh, I'm here with Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Uh, not this one. Right. Not this one. Here we go. Oh, those are awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, those are perfect. I guess that's it. I hope I did an acceptable job filling in. Thanks, Joe, for not only commissioning these, but for having such a great idea. Scott had a lot of fun putting these together. Thank you guys for watching. I'm supposed to end this by saying, go find a better video to watch. And we'll see you real soon. <laughs>